what's up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it has been so damn long and i have missed you so much my name is Cynthia Kite and this is all matters passion welcome home if you're a newbie thank you so much for joining our online family I'm gonna need you to hit the subscribe button right here and the notification bell so that every time this chick posts a new video, you're the first one to get an alert and you're the first one to view the video sooner rather than later. And if you're a homie and you've been supporting this girl for quite a moment, I just want to take this moment and say thank you. So guys, we're back and I am so excited for various reasons, of course, but number one mostly is because I am finally 21, drum rolls claps everything yay i'm finally 21 and i'm grateful excited hopeful um happy most importantly peaceful i'm feeling all the good things all the good vibes and um actually my birthday was just this week of course i you'll know you'll know if you follow me on instagram facebook or you have my whatsapp number of course you knew that it was my birthday so yes that happened and uh, it gave me an idea for this video and this video is 21 lessons in 21 years the things that i have learned along the years basically from when i realized that i'm a human being <laughs> from when i could talk up up until now but even being honest let's just say most of these things are you know i like the deep stuff things that are gonna change somebody's life or things that i know for sure um they're going to help you make better decisions or they're going to inspire you or they're going to make you feel less alone but also there are one or two things that are very not so serious very funny very not even important uh, so just let's just uh, ride with the wave feel at home and let's begin this video all right so the number one lesson of course is tell mommy moms know everything moms are the absolute best she she has she's the one person in the entire world who wants the best for you okay maybe whatever you're so afraid to tell her is gonna make her so mad and you're so scared to your wits at that point in time. But you know what? Just tell mommy. Because moms are the best. They're, absolute, they're the absolute best. And um, she's going to figure it out with you. And she's going to love you just as much regardless. So don't stress about it. Just tell mommy. Number two. Yes, you can definitely live without him. You can definitely live without her. Of course, you know what I'm talking about here. You see the way you get into relationships and it gets toxic. And then you're like, oh my God, I can't live without this guy. Or, oh my God, I can't live without that guy. Oh, come. Yes, you can. You can definitely live without them. I mean, it took me so long to realize this. But honey, yes, you can. You can live without them. You just need to, to learn how to. And uh, you're not going to die. So just know you can live without them. Don't ever tell somebody you can't live without them, okay? Because you can. It's just going to be hard, but you can. And then my number three lesson is you'll, you'll eventually just go back to God. So why don't you just save the back and forth, back and forth, and just remain rooted in him? Okay, you can run all you want. You can do all the things that you're not supposed to do and um, you can say uh yolo and everything but eventually you're just gonna have to go back to god because life isn't easy out here um everybody is not kind uh life is cruel the world is not a pleasant place so at the end of the day he's the one guy who always puts our lives back together after we try to do things our own way again and it flopped so just save yourself the time, uh, the the heartbreak, the pain, the frustration, and just be friends with him right now. Be friends with the big guy. That's Jesus. All right. Number five. Uh, okay, this is my unpopular opinion. You can kill me if you want, but mayo sucks. Mayonnaise is like who did who who even invented that thing? It, it's it's like the worst thing I've ever had to eat. It's a scam. Basically, don't even as in don't even bother with mayonnaise. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, mayo is a scam. I have tried it. 
twice my entire life the first time i had it i was like oh my god i'm gonna puke and then later on in life when i fell in love with cooking <clears throat> i said okay maybe it's not so bad i was a kid then let me try this now it's a scam guys it's a scam mayo sucks and then number six listen to your gut your inner voice your intuition listen to that thing because it already knows what you you don't know yet like you just feel like i should not go there or this dude is lying to me or this chick is playing me listen to your gut because trust me it's always right it's always right just listen don't even don't even try to weigh like the demerits and merits just listen to your gut and you'll save yourself a whole lot of trouble number six sorry number seven Access are a disease. Okay, I'm just gonna stop saying the numbers because it's kind of monotonous. But the next point is access are a disease, um, and also there are scam. And just don't even try to believe that you can make things work after you broke up. <laughs> That's the biggest lie of all time. My friend, you'd just rather be single for that period and uh, let that girl go, let, let that boy go because exes are a disease and they're just gonna make you rotate in circles and circles and circles and then eventually you'll be like, but then you broke up for a reason, right? I don't know why you keep wasting my time on you. You keep wasting your time on them because you just don't want to accept that they're your ex. So when somebody's your ex, let them be your ex for good. Um, then, the, ne the next one is forgiveness is underrated forgiveness is so underrated especially because we live in a world where kindness is like luxury and people are always at, uh, like a tooth for a tooth and revenge is best served hot forgiveness is underrated forgive let that shit go be peaceful focus on your goals focus on your life love hard move on forgiveness does not necessarily mean reconciliation you get you can forgive somebody and not let them back into your life just make sure you take care of this because nobody's gonna take that nobody's going to take care of your heart for you and the number one step of doing that is forgiving that's the biggest lesson that i've learned and for sure it has helped me so so much now we're on to number 10 breakups don't kill you get over it eventually okay you can't cry all you want have a pity party like sympathize with yourself and just stay in bed for like 10 years if you want but at the end of the day you're gonna be okay breakups have never killed anyone unless you decide to take your own life which will be complete bullshit so if you love yourself enough just remember remember today's words breakups don't kill you're gonna move on it is just naturally we are designed that way that is life you will just have to move on life has to move on okay breakups don't kill and then next it's perfectly normal to be different in fact it's necessary you know we live in a world where it, it, everyone social media friends family they make us feel this pressure of wanting to fit in well i'm here to tell you that it's totally okay to be different when you feel like you don't belong to the group or there's something different about you your opinions are a bit different from the rest how you think how you talk how you want to do your things it's totally okay and it's normal and then you know what it's even mandatory because you bring something else to the table you bring a different vibe and um standing out is way better than fitting in okay remember that next is wanting money success and being ambitious is totally okay stop feeling guilty about it stop feeling guilty about wanting to be rich stop feeling guilty about uh, just uh prioritizing when it comes to your finances and not being mother teresa you know it's totally okay to to want to be successful financially it's totally okay to want success and to chase that dream as if your life depends on it it's totally fine let nobody tell you anything about it as long as you're not hurting anyone in the process and as long as you're not um, too greedy and you're working for what you want just continue going for it number three destination happiness is a scam this is what i mean that idea that um happiness lies in the next career or happiness lies in the next partner relationship i mean house town whatever you have this idea that what you're gonna do next is what is going to make you happy 
it's not true you will always feel like there's something missing there's one part of the puzzle that is missing well i'm here to tell you that find happiness in the process what you're going through right now enjoy that process enjoy the process on working of working on your career on your career of working on your education of being in that relationship and getting to know that person enjoy that process of just being a young millennial going through life now that is where you find happiness learn to find happiness in the very little things because life just ends unexpectedly the number 14th lesson is we're gonna try to finish this video at least at 15 minutes because i don't want it to be too long uh so praying over friends and family is so underrated now if this is the only thing that you take from this video i'll be so content now listen to me very very carefully like sometimes people are not at their best and when people are not at their best they tend to forget to pray or they feel a bit disconnected from god now if you're that person's friend or sister or whoever or um, you just know them and you love them you know and you pray for them always do you know you can cover that person that morning or that night with the grace of god with the blood of jesus christ and maybe something bad that would have happened to them does not happen have you thought about that maybe they would have been in, in an accident but somehow the holy spirit works and it doesn't happen or maybe um they would just have been in a very bad position but because you prayed over them now you have protected them so from today just know that praying for friends and relatives is not just something that is said but if you actually do it um it changes lives so think about it and then number 16 it's okay to make mistakes I mean, that's why it's called life. Mm, as long as at the moment you don't realize that you're making a mistake, it's totally fine. Don't beat yourself up. Stop being your highest critics. Stop being so judgmental um, on you. Go easy on you. Be kind to yourself. And um, retrace your steps. See what you did wrong. Move forward. Do things right. That is what life is, okay? So mistakes are totally okay and they're totally normal. Forgive yourself, move on. 17, enjoy the period you are in as at now. So for example, today is the 7th of August, 2020, a Friday. Enjoy today as you are right now. What are you doing? Maybe you're home, you're, you're at Whatever position that you're in, just learn to enjoy being you at that particular point. Enjoy being in your 20s, enjoy being a teenager, enjoy being a student, enjoy being a young adult, because it will go and it won't be there forever. So make the best of it as at now. 18. Let experience show you who your true friends are. Let experience identify you the, the people who will ride with you the longest, you know um that is something that <laughs> i've also learned and i just want to add that it's okay to have two or three genuine friends and many other acquaintances you don't have to ha to have a ten friends or feel bad just because you have two genuine friends because honey you'd rather have two genuine friends who you know if you're in deep trouble you can holler at them and they're gonna come rescue you than have 20 people who it, in, it's just about sending each other emojis and like when you're in trouble they won't show up for you or they won't sacrifice anything for you or if it's time to roast you they'll definitely roast you and run away and there's nothing that you're going to do about it so let experience like filter out the people who don't vouch for you and let experience teach you who are your true friends okay 19 it's totally okay to be a good person okay that sounds so cliche but we live in a world where everything fights exactly that because not everybody is kind not everybody is considerate not everyone is generous people here just are selfish everyone is chasing their own dream and they don't mind stepping over you to achieve theirs but i'm telling you that it's totally okay to be a good person be the kind girl okay be the one to to say hello with a smile be the one to be generous be the one to forgive be the one to say you know what it's okay i forgive you you know make a difference the world needs it and let nobody make you feel bad about it have that personality i'm not saying let people step over you create your own boundaries but just know that it's okay to be a good person in the world that we live in number 20 
I'm just going to put it as it is. Cheating is pathetic and there's no justification for it. I'm talking about cheating in relationships. Okay, you can give me all the reasons as to why um you know you don't understand. This is I'm just telling you cheating is pathetic and there's no justification for it. So if you're ever in a position that compels you to cheat on your partner, always remember that you have the option to break up with them before you cheat. And now it won't even be cheating anymore. Always go for the breakup option. And if you're married or whatever, you have kids, there are so many other options like maybe separation first or therapy or, you know, cheating is so disrespectful. Like there's no even justification for it. So this is my number 20 lesson. Lastly, oh, second last, okay, it's my number 21 point is honesty and communication are a game changer. Just be honest, talk it out, and you'll realize that Life is not as complicated as it seems. Like, kick out assumptions and conclusions, especially we girls. We tend to do that a lot. So just communicate, be honest, and uh, live life, okay? Love people. Love when you can. Have a good personality and just enjoy life. My, my last point is be open-minded and flexible enough to accommodate change because change is a constant in life and uh, things will shake up when you least expect it. It's something that I always say and it's just important for you to be flexible enough and realize at any given time, things are going to change and you should be open-minded enough and flexible to accept that so that you live life to the fullest, yeah? So those, are, so those are my 21 lessons in 21 years. I hope you have picked a thing or two. If I talk too fast, I'm sorry. I just don't want this video to be too long because I care about your bundles. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video, guys. This chick is back with a bang and um, very soon I'm going to be dropping a very bomb recipe. But until then, please subscribe and share this video if it blessed you. So until then, mwah, bye!